Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Mrs. Herman. And Mr. Herman. This is Mr. Herman and we are the Hammonds. Yeah. <laughs> and we're so happy to be here today. Yeah. Um, I opened this channel uh, last week. Yeah. It was a bit initially, you know, my husband was like, if you are to reach 200 subscribers, I'm going to give you 10 bucks. And guess what guys? you guys subscribed and i got 211 subscribers so thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and please do like share and comment yeah <laughs> so guys today we're going to be talking about how we met you know how our entire life story i hope you guys enjoy don't go see what was your first impression of namsa <laughs> <laughs> I liked her from a distance. Um, it was like my first time at the church, and she was in the prison worship. So I actually joined because I wanted to <laughs> to be close. And um, I guess it was divine. So I would see it from a distance that I joined the prison worship team. I was like, ah, you know what? I like that girl. But uh, okay, please tell me more. No, because she was there. Okay, what was your first impression? Just about it. It was just a cute guy who joined the team who just really had a big crush on me. Crash, but it was also a cute crush as well. <laughs> it was an obvious crush. It was so obvious. Ah. And yes, I think that's that's it. <laughs> okay, so would you guys call it love at first sight? For him? Ah no, you can't say that. Not for you? No, baby. Oh, you said you love me at first sight. No, I said you were cute at first sight. <laughs> but yeah, you know, there's always this thing that I had for her. Like, I mean, I've seen so many girls throughout this lifetime. When I saw her, like, it's the same feeling I had even on our wedding day. I just, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I don't think there's a word for it. But it wasn't really love at first sight. But I was like, no, this person can work for me. Well, on my part, um, I think I started liking him a, f a few, you know, a few days after I met him, and I just, I think I had this, what is that thing, that inner sense that women have, yeah. with this guy's my husband, you know, and I had, I think there were several times when I seemed obsessed, because <laughs> we were not dating, but I would mix our names and call myself Mkosi Nomsa at school. Wow! Yeah, before we even, before he even said a thing. So, yeah, for me that's, yeah, I think that's where I stood. Okay. When did you guys meet? 2012. 2012, okay. February. Yeah. Day? No, we don't know. But it was on a Saturday during practice. That's when he came. He was new. I was the month old in the praise worship team. Okay, so can you tell us the narration of how you started dating? How we started dating? Yes. Okay, let me tell you my version. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so, um, how it started. Okay, so I liked this, this lady. Um, at the time, I think she was, Mrs. Fenman, I think she was what? 14. 14. I was 14. <laughs> she was 14. I was at 16. 16 there about. And um, I really did like her. Um, and I was like, you know what, what can I do? Let me try and get close. So that's when I got into the praise and worship. And then um, when I got into the praise and worship, uh, there were many young girls and I tried not to attack her like a while, you know. So I tried to be, you know, the mean guy just, hey, what's up, you know. You know, I was still like that at mm -hmm. the time. And then I remember I texted, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like after a month or so, I was like, I was still, you know, I was still fresh from the world. So I remember, I just texted, I was like, you know what, I'm into you, I want to, right? And then she did respond. <laughs> and then, and then, at the time, Godini was still functioning, yeah, the, the rank, mm -hmm. and, and and I met her, I'm like, didn't you see my message, and she's like, and she's like, and she's like how did you want me to respond? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she tried to act all hard to get for a while. And then 
Papa Shapa. Yeah, Papa Shapa later. We, we had, you know what happened, okay? Because we were younger, we'd have these uh, episodes, eh? They love each other, love each other. And then, then we, we don't love each other. We just chill. I mean, she was busy with school, I was busy with school. <laughs> and and we just have these on and offs up until 2015. Uh, mm -hmm. This one I remember, 2015, the 1st of September. That's when we actually started That's being serious. Yeah, so that was three years later. I remember I told her at around 8. Ah, this one I remember. At around 8 p.m. I was like, you know what? Uh, let me tell you. I was like, okay, so there's this girl I like. Yeah, she's, I, was, I was trying to act like... Was it the bus? No, 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 no. The bus, the bus was what led to the first of, of September. Oh, yes, okay. yeah. Because in the bus, we, the bus I think was like a week or two before. I don't understand. What Can you tell us the bus oh, story? Okay. So, <laughs> okay, when, tell when we were bus. going like, for a crusade, um, before September, what's the month? It's <laughs> October, November. September, October. August. Okay. August, yes. In August, we're going, for, we're going for a crusade in August. Yeah. So we decided to sit next to each other, yeah? Did we sit next to each other? No. Remember, you made me. No, jealous. okay. This other guy came and sat next to me in the bus. I hate that guy. Because he hadn't made his intentions clear. And this guy started, you know, talking to me and I was seeing because I kept on checking him out as well. He also kept looking at me, but I could see good life my bitterness levels are going up, you know. <laughs> but um during the whole con the whole crusade, when we were giving out flyers, we were holding hands randomly like it was like something was it was like magnetic if I can yeah. call it. We're not dating yeah. but we kept on holding hands, then letting go. Holding him and letting go. But then on the 1st of September, September, that's when he told me that what, what, I love you and stuff like that. Then pretty me said, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. You couldn't say no. I couldn't say no. Couldn't this guy is amazing. I could not say no. So yeah, that's how it is. Um, but anyway, most of it was we were in the house of God. Mm -hmm. um, that's the, like, like I really fell in love with this uh, lady. Like that year, yes, I liked her all the time, but the year 2015 was the time when I really got to seek God, uh, like at high levels. And during that season, um, I remember she was um, under some uh, thingy that was happening, and she wasn't ministering that much. And I kept on seeing her consistent in the house of God. Um, she'd always be in the front, she'd always be dressed well, you know, well, you know, she was always clean. And at that time I was like, you know what, I think this girl can work. Mm -hmm. And at the time I was praying, I was like, you know what, 2015, how old was I? 18. 20, I don't know. 20, no, 18, because I was 17, you were 19. Oh, yeah, they're about. So that's when I was like, you know what, I think I'm going to marry this girl, right? And Rishawan happened, it was a crusade. Like she said, we kept on holding hands. It was weird. <laughs> it was weird. Like people, you know, you know how we travel as a group. There's the prison worship. Everyone mm -hmm. kept on saying, "What's going on with you guys? You just disappear and 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 give flyers on your own or something. Not that we're doing anything wrong. Never. We'll talk about that later in the video. But we we'll just disappear together, holding hands, and then we have these awkward moments. Then I'll let go of her hand. Because you know, the holiest brother in the church. So, yeah. Yeah, I think basically that. How long did you guys date for? Yeah, it was an on and off situation. Because, right. okay, we started genuinely dating when I was in last six, I was 17 years old. So up until we got married. <laughs> no, that's not true. No, no, no. What happened is, let me, let me. Let me no, go. actually, let me tell the truth. Because, <laughs> 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 okay, how long did we date for? We met in 20, 2012, that's when we met. right? That's when we met and fell in love and all that stuff. Then in 2015, we started dating. Official. Official. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then when I was now in my second second year in varsity was it we broke up we okay. Yeah, okay he broke up with me he broke up with me because 
Because, now this is the juicy part. Because what? Because he felt like I wasn't the one. <laughs> no, that's not it. That's that's what he said. He said mm -hmm. I want to seek God before I make a life altering decision. We went down separate ways. And we met I think two years later. Two years later. How many years later? It was December twenty eighteen when we brought her. Right. We started dating in 2020 again because it Eco Pela. Yeah, but I'm saying it's two years. Up. It's two years later then. One year. 2018 to 2020, it's one it year. It was December 2018. Okay, whatever the up. case. So it was, it was one year of, of you not having me. And she was eight or so sad. It was two years, guys. Yeah, but anyway, so we, we took that break. Mm -hmm. So it, we actually. But it was this. a good break though. It was. We had to really figure out what we really wanted in life for ourselves in terms of you know relationships and stuff in, in terms of marriage actually so yeah then we just went back got back to each other we got married in 2021 um that was when in july 11 july. july so we actually celebrated our one year anniversary this past month yeah so it's been amazing really what are the boundaries you had to set in your courtship, your dating, to maintain purity and holiness in your relationship as Christian couples? Okay. Should I? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, when it comes to purity, um, I feel as, as, as young couples in the Lord, people are dating and so on, you have to set the boundaries together and say, okay, like for example, Throughout our datings on and off and so on, I never hugged them. Not even a hug. Ask him. My loss. You know, so. She, wait. So. He thought that hugging is like, it's like sinful. <laughs> no, I didn't think it was sinful. Honestly. I was, I was putting a boundary, you know, to say, okay, because, okay, if you can't even hug the person, that means you won't even kiss the person. If you can't kiss the person, it means you won't sleep with that person. So this was just a boundary to say, you know what? I will not hug you. And it it, it worked. Yeah, it's true. It did work. So 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 it's important that as young, you know, couples in the Lord who are dating for marriage, set those boundaries. They look stupid. You you can be laughed at. So many of my friends are like, why haven't you kissed that girl? Why haven't you slept with her? Because remember, I'm, I'm not staying in heaven. I'm on earth, right? And there are these people who criticize even on her hand. Why are you waiting? What, what, that, that's so old school. That is weird. Mm. You're not hiking. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really an extremist. Anyone who knows me from Spaces College between 2011 and 2011. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they are about. They know that no girl would even hug this guy. So it's not that um, it's not that I didn't want to hug, but at least if you give yourself such boundaries, right? They are extreme. You protect yourself from a lot of things. So remember, we had once wrote. Remember our our, our, we vision, down our vision. Our vision. And submitted it to prophet. And we submitted to prophet. We typed and signed. And signed we won't it. hug. We won't have, we won't have sex. <laughs> we won't meet after six p.m. After, after six p.m. Oh my god! But then, <laughs> honestly, um, I think for us girls, we'll be thinking, "Oh God, this this is not it. This is not romantic. This is not okay." But you know, if you get such a disciplined guy, I feel like it helps you, you know, to stay pure. Especially if you're a Christian, if you get such a guy. Don't think that that guy is not romantic. It's not. I think it's for your life, for your sake, for you know. Sake. So that when you're married, you know, you have, you know, this opportunity to one day stand in front of people confidently and say, didn't, 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 didn't. you know, awesome. and you're able to also help other people. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's important to have those boundaries. So set them, guys. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't, don't live by worldly standards, mm -hmm. especially if you're Christian. Christianity, uh, I think it's Paul you're saying, uh, submit yourself as a living sacrifice. It's it's sacrifice to, to not go out with a girlfriend at night. It's sacrifice to not kiss her. It's not like I didn't want. I kiss her all now the time now. <laughs> like all the time. 
she has to see his door. Kiss, kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like all the time. <laughs> okay. Sorry. All the time. You see, I did want that. It's not that my I, I'm, I'm wired differently. It's not like she's wired differently from any other woman. But you just set the, the boundaries. They will help you. They protect you from a lot of things. A lot of things. How did you know she was the one? How did I know? Yeah. And she went on a break, Jenny self discovery. Oh, yeah. What what? <laughs> okay, maybe we can use that part of, of our life. All right. When when we when we took that break and we broke up. Um You went separate ways. Separate ways. Like you know how a road is like this a little bit like this. Separate. Wait, Peter. I'm just trying to so you can see how separate it is. So during that season I I, I I had people that I met girls, some from Zim, some from South Africa, all over. As, 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 as a musician, you get exposed to a lot of women. And what I noticed was, every time I would even get close to dating some girl, I would see something that that girl didn't have that she had. And, and especially this emotional, I don't know how, how I can describe it, but we, we have this thing where we're like Why? in sync. We're totally different characters. Totally. I'm I'm an, I'm the introvertist of the introverts. She's an extrovert, but totally different. But there was this 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 um, place I find in her that I couldn't find in any other girl. Trust me, I tried. I said maybe let me try different complexion. I did that. Different height. Different height. Different money level. What not? No, but he didn't date them. Yeah, and yes, I didn't. I didn't go that far. At least I hope so. No, I didn't. I promise. Yeah. Out, out. So how I saw that she was the one. There's this love I had for her that would never go. Even, even, even when she was far from me, and maybe I wasn't agreeing with some of the people she was hanging out with and stuff like that. I genuinely loved her. Aww. I genuinely cared. I genuinely would. Pray for him, you know. So, so even when she was far, that's how I knew that no, this is my wife. Cause I, I can never love any woman the way I love myself. Yes, I've dated other girls before, but that was just it. <laughs> but there's no, no girl that I loved to this extent. Because yes, we were far. Let me tell you the truth. We we're not together. We were still same church, same everything, same city. And different friends. People, same, uh, uh, we're yeah. friends. We were friends. Mm. We were yeah. friends. Let me tap it over So, um, we were so far, but honestly, I, I had this longing for her. And God allowed us around about 2019, going to 2020, we sort of saw ourselves go back to each other. We became friends, yeah, we became friends. <laughs> and then we started meeting but hiding it from everyone. So when we started hiding it, I remember we had gone to a remember that day we put me from Cape Cod to Janja. And then my sister was on the table. We just did this. <laughs> and so the moment I saw, what am I hiding if we're just friends? So I realized, no, because I don't have time. Let me just try, you know. How will I match this now? <laughs> yes, please. Oh, that's the question again. It is, how did you know he was the one? I'm going to make it very short. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I mentioned in the beginning of this video that, you know, when I was young, I had this feeling, okay, this guy is going to be my husband. You know, that's why I tried to see moms and stuff like that. But then, when we broke up, he, I think he took away that confidence that I had with you, okay, this guy is, is my husband, is the one. But then uh, during that break, like you said, we saw other people, I saw other people. Um, but I would come to him as my friend, I would tell him, oh, I like this one and that one, this one said he likes me, stuff like that. He would be like, he would discourage me actually from all the guys. <laughs> he would discourage so me. Yeah, that's what he would say. Like, <laughs> No, not the, not that one. That one is not for you, mom said stuff like that. And you know what? And as much as I thought we were friends, 
the amount of consistency, if I can say, the consistency that he had in my life. I don't know if that's proper English, mm -hmm. but I think you guys are getting the sense. He was always present, always constant in my life, you know. Even after work, just call, hi, what, what, you know. And, you know, for a woman, I think being present, when a guy is present in your life that much, you start to value them and see their importance, you know. And um, how, how I also realized that he was the one, I think um, I, the fact that I knew him, you know, it, I didn't want to be dating a whole new person that I don't know totally who had known him for like seven years. And I just, I just knew in my heart that this guy is the one. Plus, our other advantage that we had was that we were under a man of God, you know, a mentor, a spiritual father for us. And that was very important because it'd be like, oh, okay, try to, you know, when you'd come with a name, oh, this one likes me. Because he's also prophetic, it was also a good thing for us, you know, mm -hmm. which he'd just say, mm, that one I'm seeing, maybe um, it won't end well, you know, or he's not the right one. He wouldn't tell us, this is your husband, no. Let us go and find out, find ourselves, you know, find each other, but with good direction and guidance, if you get what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, that part is important. Mm. Um, I feel, as a child of God, if you can't tell your spiritual father about your love life, mm. if, if it's not open to that extent, I feel you are, you're giving yourself um, a hard time because you make, make mistakes. Because usually we love wrong sometimes. Mm. Like I saw that when we were, like every name, I'm going like, Dad, I'm so, there's this girl now, and we're vibing. And we're like, oh, we're vibing. What's her name? Tell her the name. And she will be like, okay, son, you're not seeing the whole picture. Mm. You know, that's usually that's what you'd say. Like making, um, what you call it? It's emotional decisions. Yeah. You know, based on permanent, based on permanent what situations? Is it the? Is it, did I get it right? Opposite. Opposite. It's like using infatuation and thinking it's love, and you exactly. make a wrong decision at that it moment. Permanent. That will cost you your entire Dirty. life. Yeah. You can end up in an abusive marriage, in an unhappy mm -hmm. marriage, because you just don't want to have a mentor. Your mentor doesn't necessarily have to be a spiritual father. It can be someone who has walked through the journey, someone with better knowledge and better wisdom than you. Than you. Yeah. So it is very important to, to open up. And then there's that thing, remember baby, mm -hmm. what, what also worked for me. Mm -hmm. Remember when we broke up, mm -hmm. I, 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 I did something. I was like to God. I remember. Remember the chocolate I gave you? Oh, yeah. I was like, no, the chocolate you gave me. The lunch bar. Lunch bar yeah. at, at the rainbow. I was like, God, I'd broken up with him. I did. I was like, no. It's I'm the one who prayed. You are the one who came with the chocolate. Oh. Yes. Oh, hey. Yeah. So she prayed. Oh, I yes, prayed. you did. Yes. And on my way, we're now going back to, we're coming back to Galawa in Harare. And somehow I got chocolate before I jumped into the bus and I'm like, okay, anyway, let me just give him We're just broken up and I'm like, God, if this guy is my husband, let him bring me chocolate. But guys, don't make this <laughs> if you have not Yeah, like, chocolate. yeah, don't. Because, hey, the devil might <laughs> take advantage of these things. Yeah. But he brought the chocolate at Rainbow mm. Towers, that hotel, mm -hmm. and, but we had broken up. But I'm like, God, he's giving me chocolate. But he just I made a prayer me. last night, but he just dumped me, you know? <laughs> Thinking he has found greener pastures, but I'm the cleanest of them all. Yeah, so, okay, before you try these ones, I advise yeah. that you really have a deep relationship with God. Yeah. Like, you have to really, don't try to hear God in the big things. Oh, but God, let him Just come. Just yeah, I want to let hear my... Let him come when he has plenty. Yes. <laughs> the girl who come with a short, tough inch Brazilian. Uh, 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 that is my, no. No. It, it depends with your level of faith, because yeah. it took time for us to... to you know, to yeah. get to that level. Okay, next question is, um, what's the one thing you love the most about your wife? Why is he starting, you know? Okay, what's the one thing no, you love? Let him finish, so that I'm trying to like... 
Say it yes. <laughs> What's the one thing I love the most? Mm -hmm. I'm listening. What thing I love the most? But you don't have to think. Mm -hmm. No, there are so many things I love about you. You know, baby, I'm trying to single out that one. Uh -huh. I think it's her personality. She is so fun. Being an introvert. I'm really a calm person. She has a sight to her that I do not have, that I can never manifest. And so her, so her, her personality is, is what I love the most. She's got so much energy. She's, you should watch her when she sings or when she's just doing a video and we're just traveling. She just has this thing. They call it. It's just that it's beautiful. What did you get? <laughs> hey, cool, baby. I'm joking. So yeah, her personality. I, I think I love I love that about her. But there's a lot, obviously. The list is endless. Okay, it's more mm. Yeah. I love that he loves me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Huh? I love that you love me, baby. I love that you love me so much. But is that a selfish response? <laughs> what do you love about me? I love that you love me. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's fine. Why are people expecting it to be that? <laughs> okay, so the next question is what advice would you give to singles, Christian singles, who are waiting for the right spouse and waiting on the blood? <laughs> um, I think uh, as women, we have a lot, a lot of pressure, you know. Um, especially in Africa, when we reach thirty years, Konapana, um, I think we have a lot of pressure. We feel old. I've had sisters, you know, that feel old because they are thirty. They are made to feel old as well by by other people who are married, other people who are now grown and stuff like that. But I don't think that's the case. Marriage can come anytime for anyone. Life happens at different times for different people. We can't all get married at 21, at 23. We mm -hmm. can't all get married at that, at that age. Mm -hmm. So um, the best thing that I think I'd advise women, especially women for me, um, is to um, get more knowledge, you know, get education, work, be productive, you know, try to take up space in the industry and stuff like that so that a man won't just find you, you know, with nothing and then they just put you to become a housewife and stuff like that. You know, just become the better version of yourself, you know, in anticipation, of course, of having a marriage and stuff like that. Don't look down upon yourself because you're not married. It's, there's more to life than marriage actually and that's one thing that we need to understand especially as African women there is more to life than marriage guys I'm not saying it because I'm married no but I'm saying it because I know that there is more to life than marriage yeah so my advice is just try to take up space try to be productive work on yourself develop yourself go to school go to work get the bag secure the bag and do more with women empowering stuff, you know. Yeah. Because we don't want baggage. We don't want a problem. Lipstick on the table. Mm, I, I, <laughs> really important. Um, I think the more valuable you are, the more chances of you getting married actually. Because we always aim for the valuable stuff. You know? Also suppose you don't want to do so I think yeah, pursue that. And uh, my advice, um, um, marriage is such an important decision, okay? And as, as, as someone who has married successfully and so on, I believe it is important that you first deal with the God side of your life, have a God friend, develop a deep relationship with the Father. When you have developed that relationship, discover yourself. Once you've discovered yourself, 
then you can then try and take someone into that life. Mm -hmm. So my advice, especially for young men, um, you can't marry and you don't have a relationship with God. You can't marry and you don't know who you are. What are you bringing that woman into? And please don't marry without a job. And don't marry without a job. Um, you know, a lot of Christian brothers hide behind Ooh. faith. Hmm. And, uh, we can, don't eat tongues, please, like, like Christian this, brothers. This is not this tongues. This is not tongues, no. <laughs> it's, ex, it's expensive. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, guys. Imani ita tegile. Maria kakosha. Money is important. Mm. Try to be stable. Mm. She will need to eat. She will need to go to the hospital. She will need to this and that. Mm. So also make sure you secure the bag. Mm. Um, I don't like how a lot of Christian uh, brothers have been displayed as these broke. Yeah, uh, that is not the will of God. Mm. Um, it's powerful, brother, because you end up saying, "Hey, girls, hey, they, they go after men with cars." It's not a bad thing. <laughs> girls want security. Please know that when we are thinking of marriage, in as much as I'm thinking about the right partner, my God given partner. I'm also thinking about my security, mm, yes, you know. Yes. So if you're a guy and you intend to get married, please, please, please go and work. Go, go and work. Adam was in the garden. He was cultivating the garden before Eve came. Yeah. He was busy with the animals before Eve came. So please, 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 Eve just appeared. Because if you check Eve came to eat, yes. she ended up eating that. Thank you guys for, for watching this video. Um, I hope you guys were blessed. And I hope you learned one or two things even from our story. And I hope it changes someone's life out there. So I'll just give this time to Mr. Herman to just even close for us with a small prayer. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. so we just want to pray for singles here. Um, I believe sometimes, especially things like marriage, you have to do with grace and the grace of God being upon you. So we just want to pray. For you guys with a male female that the grace of god would come upon you that you then marry the right action heavenly father we thank you oh god for the young men and women who are watching this clip we pray oh heavenly father that you give them the grace oh god to have restraint in their relationships we pray oh god that you give them the grace for purity we pray that you may give them, oh God, relationships that work. Give them the right partners, Lord. I pray that you open their eyes to the deception of the enemy. Open their eyes to wrong partners. We pray that you give them the grace to marry. We pray that you give them the grace to be happy. The grace, oh God, to flow with each other. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. <laughs>